BBC News with Debbie Russ. There's no sign yet that the last Ukrainian defenders of the besieged port of Mariupol have heeded Russia's ultimatum to them to lay down their arms. Ukraine's deputy prime minister has demanded that Russian forces open humanitarian corridors from Mariupol today to allow citizens and wounded Ukrainian troops to be brought out. A missile attack just outside the capital, Kyiv, has caused damage to buildings in the town of Brovary. The mayor said infrastructure had been hit. Russia said its forces had struck an ammunition factory. Pope Francis has used his traditional Easter message to criticise Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Speaking from St Peter's Basilica, the Pope said Ukraine had been dragged into a cruel and senseless conflict in what he called this Easter of war. The most senior Anglican cleric, Justin Welby, has strongly criticised plans by the British government to send many asylum seekers to Rwanda. In his Easter sermon, the Archbishop of Canterbury said the plan raised serious ethical questions and could not stand the judgment of God. The military rulers of Myanmar say they're releasing 1,600 prisoners to mark the Buddhist New Year, but reports suggest far fewer people than normal have been pardoned and that those imprisoned for protesting against the army coup last year will remain in jail. There's been a third night of unrest in Sweden over rallies by the far-right anti-immigrant group Stram Kurs, which has burned a copy of the Koran and has threatened to burn more. Violence broke out in the southern city of Malmö. Cars and a bus were set on fire and some protesters threw stones at the police. The Palestinian Red Crescent says 17 protesters have been injured in Jerusalem in more clashes with Israeli police around the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. It's the holiest place in Judaism and the third holiest in Islam. BBC News.